Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a Saturday morning. I actually let myself sleep in, so it is 9 a.m. Getting ready to go hit up the grocery store because we're gonna cook up some bomb ass French toast, brother. Hey, made it quick in and out, bag secured, s'mores quest bar secured. First time trying it, give it a seven out of 10, eight out of 10, fuck. I think it's good, 10 out of 10 maybe, I don't know. Go try one. But I hate filming in the grocery stores just cause it's awkward. Plus it's early morning, it's still kind of waking up. Either way, we're dieting right now. We're looking to get some high volume, tasty breakfast in, trying to get a little creative. Looked through the store, found some pretty sick stuff. Also, didn't get to find some of the things I wanted to find. But that's besides the point. We're gonna head home and cook this stuff up, brother. She thinks that I'm afraid, but I don't break. I heard you question my stability. You think I'll fall just like a guillotine. But I am here to stay. Won't look away. The storm is coming. So you better start running. No, you can't control me. down it's gonna be my pre-workout meal which is why it's a little more calorically dense than normal but I'm gonna put all the macronutrients on the screen here this you can adjust you can take things out like the chocolate chips those aren't needed I kind of toss those in for aesthetic appeal the apples you can cut back just a little bit because they do have a little bit of carbs um, or you could simply just take one extra slice of bread out and now decrease this from being a 600 calorie meal to about 400 calories. And that's a decent amount of food and it's pretty damn tasty. So if you're dieting, all you gotta do is do the portions in moderation to the amount of calories and macronutrients you have available. You can still enjoy all the good foods that you're looking to enjoy, whether or not you're dieting. So, okay, so to discuss the procedures to how I got this final product, I didn't really film or talk through the process at all, primarily because my house was full with all kinds of music playing, people doing laundry, there's just a lot of background noise, which would be very distracting. 
But <clears throat> as you saw in some of the clips, we simply dunked the bread into the egg yolk, toasted it pretty nice. I did a very low temperature uh, to assure that it cooked all the way through. Then from there, I cut the pieces of bread in half, tossed them into the air fryer for eight minutes. This allows them to kind of crispen up to add a little bit more of a crunch to the French toast itself, which is just a personal preference. You don't need to do that, but I really like to do it for a texture or from a texture standpoint. And then from there with the apples, we cut those up into decent sized chunks. I didn't do it too thin. Um, that way it allows enough time for them to sit with the sugar and with the uh, syrup, as well as the cinnamon itself and kind of marinate into one soft type gooey uh, substance in a sense. With the apples themselves, I cook them long enough to where they still have some crispness to them. That's a personal preference. Again, if you prefer them to be soft, cook them longer. If you prefer them to be more raw, just toss them in for a little bit, let the sugar start boiling and then toss it onto your plate. But procedure, pretty damn simple, pretty damn easy. Took me a total of like 10 minutes to prep up. Um, and it's pretty damn low calorie for what it is surprisingly. Okay, finished it up. Um, all the ingredients and the measurements of the ingredients that I use for this one specifically is gonna be in the description box below. And then in the order of preparation as to how I did it, there's really no specific rhyme or reason to go about doing this, but I figure there may be some questions for that. So I'll put all that information down in the description box. But now it's time for the fun part, doing all the dishes, cleaning up the kitchen, then we're gonna get prepped up for our training session. Getting ready to head off to the gym, got my pre-workout there. Two scoops of Gorilla Mode with about a gram of salt. So we're gonna see how well that does. I've heard salt can help add to the pump. Um, and I haven't had very much water today, so I'm gonna chug that down and swig down a shit ton of water. But I'm filming a lot of this with my iPhone, because as you can tell, the screen on my camera is a little fucked up. I had two of those screws fall out, so I had to order some. Um, that should be on the way, but if I don't have that tape there, that screen's completely popping off and I don't wanna know what happens when it does that. So uh, we're gonna try our best to film the majority of the workout with this camera, because it works just fine, just the screen's a little messed up. Um, if not, we'll be transferring back and forth from the iPhone to the camera, but. Yeah, hard life of a vlogger here. Oh, catch you at the gym.
Okay, that's a wrap on today's training session. As per usual, all the information on the workout itself is also going to be in the description box below. That description box is going to be loaded as fuck this video with the recipe, procedure, and then training session itself. Uh, but I took that pre-workout. We did that salt alongside the French toast, and it gave me a pretty freaking sick pump. I also found some secret god lighting in the gym that I really like, and I probably posed for the thumbnail in that lighting. Um, and I think I may have gotten an Instagram post from that lighting as well. The gym itself was pretty popping, uh, so it is a little uncomfortable to sit there and pose for a photo when there's like 10, 15 people watching you. Um, but that's besides the point. We got a couple photos in. We're back to the house, going to get some protein ice cream, meet with Luis, do some content stuff. With that being said, that's going to conclude this YouTube video. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of content. If you did, drop a like, leave a comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for some future content, brother!